Welcome back today. I'm taking this beast out to the junkyard in search of parts for our 58 Dodge Coronet Lancer two door hardtop. This is one guy's collection. There's nothing but junk up on the hill, but lots of cars down here that are probably too far gone. That hood is shot. Capri, Nova Capri, Grand Prix, Biscayne maybe, Comet or Maverick, MG, Mercury. Now I think this is the best car here and I'll probably be taking it home. It's going to be a little bit cool there. Yeah, it is. You got your hat off. <laughs> Might have a pretty good tour. Yeah, there's a lot to see. So cool. It's an SS hood of some kind. Yes, it is. Oh, wait a minute. Mercury. I forget what these are called. My neighbor had one of these. Someone reaffixed the chrome trim. Is it a Marauder? Definitely cool. Two-door hardtop. The old Ford pickup. Convertible. Okay, 71 dirt. I should know I had a 71. But here I stand and I'm not sure. Grill looks good. Bumper's got a ding. Oh, there it is. A broken spot. Uh, it's probably a six banger. Automatic. Got the headrest. Broken tail light, crack tail light. Cyclone or Torino Vortor. Green Torino four door. I'm guessing it's a Torino. I don't know my Ford engines. Hideaway headlights. That's cool. I know that. That's a 442 bumper. That's probably worthless at this point. That 
letter says Ventura on it. Scout. He only wants to sell full cars. You can strip them if you want and leave them. But I'm sure he'd sell parts that are just sitting. Okay, giant coronet. It's like a small block. Grill looks iffy. It's a four door. I mean, some parts, but. I don't think it's worth dragging out of here, even for the parts. 500, I believe, or Fairlane. Is that a Buick with Sabre? 2002 BMW LTD two door hideaway headlights. Probably a nice car at one point. There's an old Biscayne. There's an upside down Torino. I don't want to get too deep in the woods here. Chevy Ford pickup, something way over there. Montego MX. Girl, I went to high school had a Montego. It was a two door, big green thing. Belvedere, I think. Yeah, looky there, Belvedere. It's been here a while. These long roofs are back in style. And the floor is dirt. But it looks like it was a three on the tree, because that is a tiny, tiny brake pedal. Yeah, this was a Manual on the column wagon. How cool is that? I wonder if that was a V8. Nova. Vega, I think. This would have been so cool. I'm guessing it was a V8. There's that bumper that you need for your wagon. Looks like it was not a nine passenger. Not much I can tell. I've had that dark since sorry shape. There's a 
wagon. Corvair. I want to look at that duster, but I don't want to cross this. Tudor 64 Nova SS. That's the steering wheel to get. I have to ask about that. That roof. You probably saw the stuff below the road there too. There's a full pull through down in there upside down. There's that 57 coronet, huh? Ford. Fifty-six Chevy front end. Fifty-seven Lincoln. Fifty-seven Lincoln? Lincoln look like in the front. Oh, look at that steering wheel. That's cool. There's that motor you were looking for. Well, that's an Oldsmobile. shift on the column. Country sedan. Again with the roof lines. Super 88. Too cool. Upside down. Oh, there's that two door Chevelle he was talking about. MG hubcap. I take it one or both of these are MGs. He said he could pull any of these out of here. It's just whether or not they're worth it. I mean, on the hill, it's probably just full of dirt. I don't think there's a part on this worth anything. Malibu Chevelle. The roof is caved in. There's just no good parts on there. Can anyone identify that? I think it says. Bonneville? I think that's a Bonneville. This is a 
this thing. That's a two door. So you got the steering wheel touching the rear view mirror. That's when you know you're in trouble. Bonneville. Some dashboard of some type. I'm not sure what this is. Fairling 500. Some other two door wagon. What's he got against two door wagons? V8. Beyond repair. Probably got some good parts in it. Windows intact somehow. Ranch wagon. That's cool. So sad. Hey, get the ore. I had a 57 Chevy for almost 20 years, I think. Got it in high school. It was a two-door coupe post. This is a 56. And it is not coming back from this. What a shame. Broke his crock pot too. That's the other half. You never wanted to see what a Tri 5 Chevy looks like underneath. Look at that frame. Good lord. Okay, looks like the back window's good. The tree is claimed it. Sad. Brake drum's been balanced. 67 Impala Caprice. Four door hard top. We've got 283. Looks like an automatic. Although that is a tiny brake pedal. Nevermore. Nope, nevermore. More like it. Those mags, I hate them. You call them mags. I think this is the one thing he was talking about. From here. Looks like it has curtains, but that's the headliner. North and South America. Tail light. There's them Lincoln letters you were looking for. Our 
of that view. That body line. That's probably light. Probably a marker light. Bumper could stick out a little more, huh? You could like stand on it. Secret Service. Corvair wagon, I believe. Lakewood. Wow. Look at where the front door is. The front A pillar is up against the B pillar. Okay. I guess this didn't turn out too well. That looks like 70 Impala to me. Let's see if that's missing from that 70 Impala over there. This might be salvageable, but looking at it from this side, not looking good. Duster. Cool blackout treatment on those taillights, huh? It's a little sunk in the ground. This is not worth saving. Just buried. There's the front end of that Corvair. Wow, there's a four door Impala. 70. Said this is a 442, and it's probably the same. No, oh, no, it's got the bumper. I'm assuming that's the factory rim on it. I'm not going to be able to get even close to it. It's got the 442 bumper, the exhaust cutouts. That license plate completely faded to nothing. Wow. There's nothing left of this thing. That's a shame. Reverse lights. Beetle. Fury 3. Look at that bench seat. That is so cool. Just completely sunk. Destroyed. A lap of luxury in its day, I'm sure. Roof's crushed in a little. Look at that view. Top of the world here. There it is. I don't see a hood anywhere. Kawasaki. Don't know anything about bikes. But it looks cool. Another Nova, early 60s, I'm guessing, without seeing the taillights, I'm guessing 63, 2. It's that upside down Torino. Wide oval. This has been a hot rod back in the day. I wonder what it was. It was like a GT or with that side trim, I'm guessing not.
That's a manual trans, right? It's like a porcelain sign that I'm gonna slip on. Definitely a Torino. Green on green on green. And there's the slippage. Well, that's three on a tree, right? Still, two-door hardtop, I think. Unless the post got ripped off. I always like those taillights and the hideaway headlights. I don't know if this has them. Mine's a 58, so I believe these are the same. Mine has a cross piece that comes up. Mm -hmm. So if those are the same, I could use them. They look good. So 57 Coronet. That's the, that's the D that's different because it's at the peak. So it's like got a curve to it. Somebody do that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you'd be surprised. You wonder how people get in here, but it still happens. Can I open this? Sure. <laughs> Maybe not. better luck with the driver's side. Chance with the keys in it. I don't think it was <laughs> the trunk is locked. better than mine here and it's got a giant dent and I can't get in the trunk the O the G the E the light the lens but it's cracked the fancy reflectors which the 58 doesn't have Telephone pole here. Sitting on the gas tank.
And our fenders look better. Got the washer bottle. paint there. That inner fender might be better than mine. It fits. Oh, I wish I could get in that trunk. Look at the inside. There is no floor. There are some armrests. All the chrome inside is pitted. Fifty-seven has the vent that turns, but it looks like it's two-piece. Mine is one. Have to check that out. This speedometer is probably toast. It's like a three twenty-five. got that air thing in the front that seems to be fairly intact I am back my little junkyard adventure I must say this car performed very well shifted fine no oil leaks the only thing I have an issue with is of course today the voltmeter doesn't want to work that seems to work one day not the next doesn't matter how many times you turn it on or off it just it works from the start it works the whole day if it doesn't it doesn't work the whole day so i noticed in neutral i can hear the bearing riding on the on the clutch so i need to adjust that so when it's in neutral it's not riding on the clutch um and it's i think it's running a little rich i need to readjust the carb and I'll probably start from scratch and just do it right from the get-go you know set the float levels do the idle mixture screws so that was my new best friend Jim uh, he's a retired mechanic from what I gather and he just collected a bunch of cars and he's been selling them off the deal is if you buy a car you can strip it there you can't come back every week and take stuff off but you can strip it there and leave the carcass or take the whole thing he'll help you he's got like a loader somewhere like some kind of tractor what this needs well that's kind of a loaded question but I'm thinking what can I get off that car so I'm thinking these are the same and that one was definitely better obviously this has this piece in the center so there's probably a hole where there's a bolt going through but I think the bumpers are the same. Um, I don't. I can't swap. I was hoping I could swap because the directional's up here in the 57, but that's just way too small. The fenders, they might be better than this. Actually, yeah, I, I think they are. I mean, marginally, because these aren't terrible, but you know, there's all this Bondo. So who knows what's under here. This is the only rust on the top, but they have rust on the bottom. If we look at this one, I don't think it's rotted, but it could be Bondo. So there's Bondo here, but that one was dented right here. So it might be a trade-off. I did notice when I looked up under, I don't know how well it showed up on camera, but the original paint is still up under on the insides of those fenders. So this piece might be better. I'll have to check the video. Yeah, it's almost like I don't have a clue what I'm doing here. Here we go. So it had the Dodge letters, but I actually found them. I messaged a guy who was selling a hood and he sold me the Dodge letters. The D being has a V to it, and that one didn't have it. And he had the washer squirter thing. And I noticed on the 57, there's two of them, where the 58 has a single one. And these were different, but that car didn't have them anyway, so who cares? 
Now, it looked like it had the same motor in it, but it was a two barrel and I don't really need any motor parts. The only thing I need is um, the Hemi's had the air cleaner that was bigger, which I have that air cleaner. It won't fit with the generator here. The generator has to be over here, which I believe this bracket, they just swung it over, but there's another bracket here that I don't have. The inner fenders on that car look better. This guy who ever owned this, he loved his galvanized patches. So it looked better. I know on this side, there was no rot hole and this guy had cut this out. And so inner fenders I could use, possibly fenders, a couple pieces of trim, sell some stuff, scrap the car, maybe break even and walk away with some parts. Obviously doors aren't gonna interchange. I'm missing this piece, which I think that car had. I'm not sure if four door is the same or different than two door. I took some measurements and I'll check that out. I'm missing a visor and one of the coat rack things. I don't think that car had coat racks. I'm not sure if it had visors. The dash was destroyed because somebody broke the window. I think it had the brake pull thing, that white thing, but I'm not really concerned with that. So, you know, it had extra door handles and all, but if they're all pitted, you know, what's the point? I already had pitted ones. I measured the four-door armrests, so they might work. At least they are got the cushion on them. This one's gone and that one's tore up. I think there were at least two decent ones. I don't think there's any other interior parts I really need. I kind of like how the 57, the round defrost ones spin, and I thought it could interchange, but I don't believe it can. Oh, it might. See, this is all one piece, where the 57, it's separate. So this is separate from this and from this, and this spins. So you can aim it. So I bet you the dash is the same. There's no point in producing a new dash. Making this cover a one piece cover in place would probably be cheaper. So I could probably use that. I don't care if it's 50 or 7. Doesn't matter to me. It'd be nice to be able to aim the, the defrost. Like all my switches, you know, they've got little pits in them here and there. These gauge things are all pitted. That car's no better. Plus that car didn't have a floor. My floors aren't terrible. I can fix them. Of course, the rear quarter on that car on the passenger side was in pretty good shape. The one on the driver's side, not so much. So, you know, I'll have to fix this mess. It wasn't a... Lancer, so it didn't have the emblems or anything fancy. It didn't have dual antennas, didn't have dual mirrors, but I have the mirrors, I have the antennas. Just missing the tip on this one. 57 has a, a reflector here, so I could put that on if I thought it looked better. All the taillights are gone out of it. That bumper was better, quote unquote, better, where mine seems to be cracked from rust. And that's dented. That one was not, and mine's cracked on both sides. But actually, my center is better, and it doesn't come apart. I thought for a second that it was split. That one had a nice dent here, and it, I think it was pretty rusty. It's coming through here. So that's kind of a bummer about that. Bumper wasn't better. The trunk, I didn't realize until the other day that it doesn't have the Dodge letters on the trunk in 58. It just has the Dodge emblem. So my search for trunk Dodge letters is over. It had the license plate lens. It had a crack in it, but it was in one piece. I guess it all adds up. As you recall, I couldn't get in the trunk. Um, 
you know, replacing the trunk floor, uh, I'll just put sheet metal down and do a much better job than this, but still, it will be terrible. But this was what I was hoping, that that car has this shelf and this edge of the trunk. Where mine is kind of disintegrated. You know? And that's nice right there that it, it just disappears. And this piece is actually separate, so that would be nice. You know, I'm sure it's spot welded together, but... And I looked under it, the trunk floor, it was gone. It was like rotted down the side here, but this piece was still there. Which I wouldn't use that, but it's just nice to know that that's kind of intact. The tank was on the ground, I wouldn't use that anyway. So I'm hopeful that this is okay. I noticed when I was trying to pull on it that it was kind of moving. So I'm guessing, you know, it's this isn't secured where mine is. So he wouldn't let me drill out the latch because it was of course locked and there were no keys. So that's one of those things where you take a shot and you hope for the best. I'll have to weigh the pros and cons of what I have, what that has, what he wants for it, what I can use, and what I can sell. I'm not interested in, you know, large parts, taking them off and shipping them to people. I may, you know, save that center grill piece. I'll definitely save the emblem piece, but that big center bar... That would probably be worth selling. I'm definitely not going to change this into a 57 front end. I like the 58 better. I'm sure I could sell the 57 pieces, you know, like the headlights around, the directional. My radiator support is rotted on the bottom, and that one was as well. That was a bummer. So I'm thinking the price of that car, the amount of effort it would take to get it, I probably won't come out on the winning side of that, but I might get enough pieces where it'll be worth my time. I won't have to patch the inner fenders. I might be able to get away with slightly better fenders. I might get some bumper parts and some miscellaneous stuff and maybe some trunk stuff. It, it, it just will save me some time. You know, and I'm looking at this right here. That's actually... I don't know if that's the same piece or a different piece. But I don't think that one was rotted there. Yeah, I think that car was in better shape as far as the front end goes. I do have a full half quarter for this side, which I don't need. Maybe that car has, I'll have to watch the video, but maybe that car has this piece and I could just patch it and then I'd have the whole quarter to sell. Plus I could cut the quarter off from here back on that car because it was pretty good, you know. Grab some money where you can, I guess. So that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching. I got some projects here I gotta finish up. I have to install the aftermarket trailer brake kit I got for this so I can actually use that trailer and go get that coronet. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Out here in the sticks, trans is working nicely. Goes in a third.
now I just need to shoot the intro.